final part of the month of May 2021 Oracle reading and divine message. I am Sylvia from Sylvia's Mystics and I feel truly curious <laughs> to see which cards spirit um, is going to reveal to us. I've been called today to bring my uh, mermaid's uh, deck and my own deck, the magic path as usual my beloved deck so we start with the magic path and then i will um i will shuffle the mermaids and let's see what they have for us i feel their gentle um, energy their gentle being and desire to be here with us to support us um, of course this is a general reading so you are more than welcome to book your private reading at the link here below um, and I'm so looking forward to connecting with you into and through these kind of sessions we, which are truly um, deep, profound, transformative and when you have a special topic that you desire to explore, something that you desire to become more clear in regards of or you know something that you feel you need to be more confident um, you have the opportunity through the power and the wisdom of the cards to embody your truth and have the courage to bring it out into the world and then to just enjoy the effects okay so let's get started uh, this is the last part of the month so we are completing a cycle this is the best time to ask ourselves what has unfolded for me during this month what is it that i know now that i didn't know at the beginning of the month which wisdom have i gained which clarity is it with me now where do i feel more confident than I was back three, four weeks ago. And what is it that I do desire now? What is it that I am ready to commit to in order for it to bloom? So this is a wonderful time of the month to truly come into this completion mode, to declutter, which is anyway, <laughs> a very, very powerful practice to go through always every day just a little bit and then maybe once a month something bigger anyway this is the perfect time of the month to ask ourselves these questions to go through an inventory of our journey in the past four weeks and to make a record do write something with your pen you know on paper which is a super powerful exercise to bring into the physical what you have um, integrated within you on a soul, ethereal, emotional, spiritual level. So go through an inventory, then you will have the opportunity to read it maybe in a couple of days or weeks and to truly see the progress of your life. Okay. May this circle be open. So I, I use a little bit of incense today, which is, this is a rose incense, a little bit um, sweeter than the sage, the usual sage. I'm going to put it here so that you can um, enjoy the smoke, okay? Let's burn just a little bit of sage as well, just a tiny little bit to purify this space as we call the spirit of the East and we say thank you for bringing us the clarity of the beginning. There we go. Put the smoke here. And then we have the candle for the spirit of the West, the fire, give us the fire of passion in this final part of the month. Let us feel the fire which is burning within us so that it can illuminate our path 
and we can bring our true authentic passion into all the things we create, into all the relationships, into everything that is surrounding us, outside and inside of us. Then I also activate and I call in the spirit of the West, water, elemental water, emotions. I love to I love to annoy myself for all the things that I create, for all the things that I envision, for all the places where my being is called to be, and for all the things that I do know with my heart. I anoint my heart center as well. Mm, I love this well, this is orange and a little little drop of rose as well to truly open up your heart chakra <sighs> just love it rose and orange and then i got here with me a citrine quartz if you can see it this wanted to come to come here with us so let's get started spirit show us what we have to know for this uh end of the month may 2021 we have come so far what what else is, do we need to know what is it that oh these are too many what is it that we are called to to see now in order to grow to expand even more give us the message that we need to to hear thank you spirit Be gentle with us and show us what we need to. Okay, these two. Wow. <laughs> How is it that I love the cards so much? Anyway, I'm also here with my giraffe. <laughs> uh, this little sweet giraffe, which belonged to my kids' collection of animals. I love it so much, and it is also my totem animal that I decided to bring it here with us today. And I put it all over the mermaid's cards <laughs> because I actually got only one, only one stone. So, okay, let's dive deep into this. End of the month, May 2021, here is the divine message for us. First card is card number 10, Vision, which is also an indigo card from my deck. And here the message is of reconnection, reconnection to our inner vision. Maybe we have been uh, running so much around, uh, taking care of so many things, so many tasks, so many people, connections, events, situations, things to do, and we have lost the connection with our inner vision. So this card reversed is asking us come back to yourself close your physical eyes and start seeing with your inner vision with your inner sight what is it that you see there what is it that you desire remember that as long as you stay in connection in contact with your vision you can activate it when you simply leave it <laughs> when you leave it there where it is you do not nurture it you do not care for it you do not expand it every day more and give energy to it it will start to disappear <laughs> so we are asked to go back to that vision and reactivate it and also to review it in the sense of uh, fixing it. Maybe there are things that we do know now that we didn't know at the beginning of the month, as said. We have um, a deeper knowledge of ourselves, of the things that we desire. And so we may feel the need to, you know, change our vision. What are the things, the details that we would love to change, to have... Uh, in a different form, to experience in a different way. This is the time to recreate it, refix it, if it is possible, you know. 
um, yes, we have the power in our hands. We have the brush, we can add some more colors to the canvas. And also what comes to me, it is to access through this process, cosmos. Cosmos which dwells deep within us. As we go deep within, as we close our physical eyes and we travel down, down, down into the depth of who we are, we can meet cosmos, universe, the realms of magic that we can activate through our vision. And that when we um, commit, so funny, so, so incredibly funny and powerful. When we commit to it, here then we can enjoy it on the physical plane and on all the other planes of our existence because all our dimensions are intertwined. So when we experience something on the physical, then the spiritual, the emotional, the rational, the energy have an impact feel the effect of what we experience. So all our dimensions are intertwined. That's why when we do operate on one, we can experience effects on the others as well. So the first card, uh, Vision Reversed, is um, asking us to go within and to activate our you know, inner powers. So more the spiritual, the emotional, but then card number 50, Commitment is actually asking us to bring it into the physical. So as we operate into the spiritual, then we can start seeing proofs of our work on the physical as well. And what it is required to us in this moment is to commit to the things that we do love, to the things that we would desire to see materialize in our world. So we need to commit to these things as we would commit um, to our partner in a sacred marriage. This card says to receive what you desire, you need to marry your goal, commit to it. Maybe you have more than one goal. So imagine yourself into this beautiful sacred ceremony of a wedding, your wedding with the thing or the person who you desire. How is it all unfolding? which is the commitment of your heart into that situation. When we do commit, we actually make a stronger action than just putting an intention on something. We truly bring it into the physical and we give 100% of ourselves to that thing, to that place, to that event, to that situation, to that relationship, so be that bride or be that groom, be that sacred partner for the sacred marriage between you and your vision, your desires. I feel all the magic and all the sacrality as well of these two cards uh, blended together in their meanings. There is the magic of the cosmos and there is the magic that we feel through our bodies when we have physical proofs of our deep inner work because we do notice synchronicities but more than that we do start to meet the right people and more than that we do start to receive what we had desired on here, an inner dimension into our heart. Now, mermaids are calling me. Okay, what's your message for us, dear mermaids, for this uh, end of the month, 2021 May? Give us the message. Mm, which is your message? Woo! <laughs> you saw? You see? So easy. It was a very gentle, sweet energy. Okay, I love to read cards 
as they jump out of the deck. And although this deck has uh, only upright cards um, readings, I do love to read them reversed. This is memories, you see? Memories reversed. So first I'm going to give you my own um, my own sensation with this card. Okay, let me feel it. What I do feel, ah, oh, this comes so strongly now. And I'm actually going to leave it as it comes without reading uh, the booklet. This, this is what comes to me now, right now. So, mermaids are asking us to let go our attachment to the past, to trust the emotional flow and to be open to feel. It can be painful or challenging to feel the detachment from all those memories we were holding on. Mermaids are asking us to trust this flow. This is a very deep flow. You see how the water is deep blue. It's very, very deep blue. So mermaids are asking us, especially this mermaid of the memories, is asking us to let go to let go the fear of feeling pain because this is like a rite of passage we need to go through these feelings these sensations these you know also physical sensations of being lost for a moment of detaching being lost because we do detach from someone or from a memory from something and through this process, through the letting go and through trusting the emotional flow which is allowing us to feel and so to clean ourselves, we are also being reborn through this process. But we need to be willing to go through it and to have a lot of faith. The divine is guiding us and is there with us. But there is this beautiful little star here. It is a sea star and it is a star. So the sign for hope, for light, for a guide along our path who is there with us, like the northern star. You see how it is right in the center right on the bottom so it is also like grounding us through this process so let's detach from what we are holding on what is it that you are holding on right now is that a memory maybe of something you have done in the past or of an old version of you an old version of who you were in the past are you still attached to some parts of you or is that maybe a person you have met in the past and to and maybe you you are you are uh, still keeping old pictures of him or her or maybe of you two both together so clear that space maybe you want to have a look to the picture again and say thank you so much for the experience but now I am evolved I can let you go so that I go through this process of rebirth of cleansing and I rise up anew and I open up to receiving what's next for me mm, I feel this very much I love it I also love how the colors are matching and blending so very well together you see they are all these uh, pale yellow mm, peach orange and the blue indigo blue i love it very much which which are your sensations as i'm going through this reading mm. so we can let go memories we can focus again on our vision now that we have let go the memories 
Can we see clearer? Can we see clearer now? Yes, we can. So we have the power to commit. Mm, I love it so much and I wrap it up as it is because I feel that it is very powerful, very simple, very clear. I love it and I give thanks to all the elements, also to Mother Earth and Father Sky and Great Spirit who have been here with us. I say farewell and I release Spirit of the North. Thank you for your wisdom. I say farewell until next time and I release Spirit of the West with the power of your emotions. Thank you for opening us up to feel. Then I say farewell until next time and I release Spirit of the South. Thank you for bringing us the fire of the passion and I release and I let go Spirit of the East. Thank you for bringing the freshness to this clearing, to this, oh, I said clearing, to this reading, thank you for supporting us in clearing all that we need to clear so that we can create new space for the next chapter of our life. As we are completing this cycle, as we are completing the month of May, we are getting ready to a new month. But we also do commit to stay into the here and now until the end so that we can sip all the magic, all the wisdom. <sighs> that it's meant for us and we are ready to step into our growth fully and completely. <sighs> here we go. I declare the reading complete. I send you my thanks from my heart to yours. All the links for the most juicy products and offers from my heart to yours again are below. I'm looking forward to receiving your feedbacks on the end of this month and I see you next time with another message. Take care.